Hello everyone and thank you very much first of all for joining me in this tutorial. So in this one we are going to talk about this amazing flask application which can help you in extracting the text from an image. Okay, so if you have bills like this, let me show it to you once. So there are people, you know, uh, who still are using handmade bills. Okay. And they are still going through different types of issues related to those bills. Okay. Now, how to solve that problem? So, basically, there are, you know, different types of libraries with the help of which this problem can be solved. You know, there are Python libraries like Tesseract. Okay. There are other types of libraries also with the help of which you can extract the text and then you can present it to the user. You can give it to the user. But what about these types of bills? So definitely you cannot help people with anything like Tesseract when it comes to these types of bills. Or if I will show you this type of bill, you know, where we have handwritten things. Okay. Just a second. It's getting loaded here. So we have handwritten things. Now, if you want to extract everything, okay, and that too in a way that, uh, you know, in a manner which the user can understand, the end user can understand, then how to do that? Okay, so the solution for this problem is Cloud Vision API. Okay, so Google has, uh, you know, you can use this service if you have an account on Google. And you have the access to the GCP panel that is Google Cloud Console panel. Fine. So what do you have to do? You have to simply enable the Cloud Vision API. You have to come in this, uh, you know, API and services category. Come on enabled API and services. Okay. And here you have to search for Cloud Vision API. So how you will do that? Let me just show you the entire process first. So here you can simply type cloud vision, sorry, cloud vision API. Okay. And you have to wait for the results. So this is the one I am talking about. Fine. So once you find it in GCP, what do you have to do? You have to simply enable it. Okay, and once you are done with enabling it, you have to simply generate the credentials. Fine, because it's already enabled on my device. That's the reason showing me manage because it's already enabled, right? So once you are done with enabling it, here you'll see the enable button. So once you're done with enabling it, you have to come on the credentials option, wherein you have to follow some steps for generating the credentials of, uh, uh, you know, for your cloud vision api which you can use in your project so here you can come on create credentials then you can come on uh, not this not this sorry you can come on service account you have to first create a service account okay and once that is done so the entire process you just you just have to do next next and then next that's it fine once you're done with filling all these details and you know if you want to uh, go with advanced configuration you can do these two steps also. Once you're done with that, just click done and your key will get generated, which you can use in your project. Okay, now I'm going to show you something before showing you the project. Okay, so here I have my YouTube channel. Okay, so in total, I have 48 different types of playlists on my channel. Okay, starting with artificial intelligence, if you are a beginner, or if you are a pro also and you want to clear the artificial intelligence based interviews so these projects are for you because all my videos are based on project based learning so in each video you're going to find some or the other project that too of a different type okay so there are nlp based projects there are computer vision based projects which i've done fine so all those projects you can find in this library visit this library and just check out the projects when you're really going to enjoy it then i have this python projects playlist wherein we have 133 projects okay so 
133 different projects so there is mobile application development there is artificial intelligence through python how to automate the things through python right all those things you can find here in this single playlist visit it and start doing the projects because that's the only way you can learn this python in a very good way if you are a beginner or you are an advanced person right advanced coder this playlist is awesome you'll find it awesome okay why you'll find it awesome i'll tell you because it's based on computer vision so when it comes to detecting the person or detecting the objects through the devices camera and you are searching for those types of projects on the internet and you, you're not finding it anywhere so this is the playlist for you where you can come and learn computer vision based libraries and also computer vision based projects then we have full stack development there is artificial intelligence again right we have react js based uh, products we have uh, django based number of tutorials right you'll find here on my channel which are based on django react native streamlit kvmd course right this entire course if you want to do where you will you'll be taught about how you can develop mobile application through kvmd then this one is for you okay we have this error handling you know and there are number of things which you can find on my channel so just come and check it check them out let me know if you find anything missing or you are searching for something but you're not able to find it anywhere on youtube you can put that in the comment section below i'll try to create a project based on those requirements okay so let's uh, come back to the projects so it is cloud vision api text extraction from image so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to first tell you show you rather how this application works okay and then we are going to check out the coding part of this application so what all things have been put in the background for creating this application for making it work like, like the way it works right so that's what i'm going to tell you later on so let's uh, just enjoy this application and check out its functionality first so this is the home page which you're going to see when you'll first access the application on the browser so here you have to simply click on choose file it will open a page like this for you then you have to come on uh, you know in the directory where you have all the files the text of which you want to extract fine let's say you have this image so i'm going to use this image first let me just upload it so there is no hit button or click button right simply you can upload the file also and the same thing will extract the content also for you so there is a function defined in the back end which has extracted the extracted the content of the image for me and that's what i'm i'm seeing here right now in this small text area see how beautifully the text has been extracted and has been put in this window over here so everything is clean and clear right now if suppose you want to download this uh, text how you can do it so there is a button called download with the help of which you can simply download it on your device in the form of a text file see so everything is clean and clear right so i'll tell you about the code also but uh, just check out the text first right see and there are some uh, you know parameters also which have been defined in the back end based on which the text has been extracted so the more parameters you'll put more text you will get where to put the parameters what parameters you can put all that thing we are going to discuss now but let me just first close this text box coming to the coding section so here we have the index.html uh, file right so the page which you just which i just showed you this one this is coming from here right so all this is the css part right then we have this extracted text okay and download file so when you click this download button this is the uh, you know function or you can say route which gets activated or triggered but before that what happens when we up, when we click on the upload button which is this 
so let's first check that out so this is the upload button it's basically a submit button so when the user clicks this upload button right a post request gets triggered now what is this post request so this triggers the if statement over here okay and now this code accepts the image which the user uploads it checks whether the file is there or not and then what happens is it triggers this function called extract text from image so basically it's a parameterized function okay wherein we are passing the google api key the one which you will get from here okay and the image file also okay so the, the these two parameters we are passing to this function now where is this function what is this function doing let's check it out so here is this function extract text from image it is taking two parameters one is this api key and the other one is this image file then it is changing it to base 64 right it is encoding it in base 64 and then decoding it in utf8 so that uh, you know this can be converted easily into a json format now here with the help of this payload we are going to try to tell the interpreter that this data right is a base 64 image and what we have to do you have to basically extract detect the text present in this image right so with the help of this payload we are going to tell this now we are again uh, hitting the google api through this api key okay this is the response that we are going to get okay let me just do the word wrap here fine so here we are creating we have created a url then we have created this uh, variable called response request dot post fine so here we are passing payload this payload we are passing so that this google api can understand what actually the user wants fine now once that is done text annotations response json dot get response so this is going to get the response from google api right then it is going to check the description part fine and finally we are going to get all the text in this text named variable but before that i would like to come to but before that what happens is this format extract okay so basically what is happening here is we are taking this image into consideration okay and we are taking this payload so this payload is going to tell this google api what it has to actually do for the user you know for this image okay so that's what this payload is going to tell to this google api fine and rest everything will be done by google api we just have to pass all these things fine as parameters to the post request that will make uh, on google api once that is done we are going to get the data in json format which we can uh, you know from which we can extract the description thing okay there are going to be several parameters but we have to take into consideration on only the description thing because in that only we will find the text of the image fine once the text comes over here in this text named variable what is the next thing we have to make it look good okay we have to make it look good and also we have to take the uh, things which are which we require not everything so for that another function is present over here named format extracted text so we are passing this text which google api has sent to us as a parameter over here to this function now what is this function doing let's check it out so then this function will be executed by the interpreter and this function will check the buyer name the consignee invoice number total description of goods right all these things it will check in the text extracted and it will 
align it in a way that the user will find it beautiful okay so the spaces you know the proper spaces which you see in this text over here right see proper spaces proper spacing which you're seeing over here is coming from this right slash and slash and you know we are terminating the lines and then we are giving the spaces also so all this formatting is done with the help of this function over here called format extracted text finally we are returning the formatted text and what is what are we doing with the help of the what are we doing with this formatted text we are simply encoding it again into utf8 okay then we are because we have to create a file right okay so here the formatted text will be passed to this text file named variable and what are we doing then we are just rendering the template which is index.html so finally we are taking all the formatted text and we are passing it to this render template uh, function right which is going to render the text on this file called index.html that's the reason you know it's a single page application we are getting the data on the same page where we see you know these buttons in the beginning let me refresh the page yeah so this is the same page on which we get the data also okay once that is done we have the download button if the user hits the download button this is the function which gets triggered which gets executed so it takes the text okay and then it again converts it uh, inputs it into utf8 fine and then it creates a text file which gets directly downloaded on the user's device so this is how this application has been created you guys can also use cloud vision api if you have image uh, you know if you have bills in the form of images or if you want to extract important things right uh, from image based data so for that only this cloud vision api is used and besides that cloud vision api is itself very very intelligent why because it it comes with artificial intelligence also so if you pass if you want to extract some specific information from the text you can pass that as a parameter to this api while hitting the api okay while hitting the api you can pass those things as a parameter so that uh, this google cloud vision api can understand what you actually want then based on that it is going to check everything in the image and it will extract only that data which is required and which is relevant and that's what it will give you in the front end or it will give you in any form okay so this is uh, the whole project which is based on cloud vision api i hope you really enjoyed it if you really liked it please do let me know in the comment section below also please let me know other things you know if you have some problems and you are not able to solve it i'm talking about web application development or full stack development or mobile application development and you're not able to solve it you can share it with me in the comment box i'll definitely try to you know help you with that also if you have some other beautiful ideas like this in your mind which you want to share with me with the help of which we all can you know uh, help each other right so i will i will build applications on those things and will share it with you so that you guys can be helped and also people who need help can also be helped like this right so let me know about your ideas in the comment box i'll be happy to make applications on them and if you want me to build applications like this for you you can contact me anytime any day this is it from my side bye bye take care and have a great great day guys